Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about creating AC channel props in the Lightarama Preview Editor. The Preview Editor has multiple tabs along the top row. To create a layout, you'll want to stay on the Design tab that opens as the default. To add an AC channel prop or device, click Add. To draw a string of lights, like for a roof line, you'll use this orange icon. Most of the time, you'll use this top option and create a new standard prop. You can also import specific props from the websites of multiple companies, import an S5 prop file from another preview, or build your preview by adding devices first instead of prop shapes. We're going to start by creating a new prop. Every fixture you create will have its own prop definition window. For AC channels, you'll stay on the traditional prop type over here on the left. Don't forget to name your prop or you won't be able to click Save. The Shape dropdown allows you to choose from a few dozen preset shapes, like arches, candy canes, matrices, and trees. You can also use some of these prop shapes in ways you wouldn't expect, like using cylinder spiral to wrap columns, or creating bushes out of spheres. This section of your screen contains information about the layout of your prop. Almost all prop shapes will have a variation of these three questions, followed by unique fields that are specific to their shape. You'll notice that if you change the actual number of strings, your channel assignments will automatically update over here on the right. The number of lights per string isn't as important for AC channels. That comes into play when adding pixels. However, if you'd like to keep track of the total number of lights in your display, feel free to accurately add this number and look at your totals in the Statistics tab of the preview window at a later point. For folds per string, make sure you are thinking about the number of folds not how many sections there will be visually once you divide the string. For example, if we have a megatree with strings that start at the bottom, go to the top, then come back down, the correct number of folds is 1. Typing 2 in this field would create an extra back and forth. Once you have your shape defined, you can adjust the channels over on the right. Unit ID is the controller number. Start circuit is the channel. Entering a number on the first row will automatically change the rest once you click elsewhere on the screen. Or you can manually enter a channel on every row. Don't forget to select your colors. By default, the preview is set for multicolored strings, but you can change it to channel per color, meaning that if you have a strand of your tree wrapped in two or three colors, Lightarama can calculate that for you in one prop shape instead of you having to create separate trees. Lastly, if your prop is going to share channels with another prop in your display, make sure to let the software know by using this dropdown. Props in your display cannot share channels unless you've specifically told them that they can. Once you're happy with your prop shape, click Save and it will show up in your preview. You can return to the prop definition window for a fixture at any time with a simple double click. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a notification about new videos.